Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, this is the uh, apocalyptic coronavirus news update. I get my sources from ABC4 News Utah on YouTube. <sighs> As I review every morning in the news of the previous day. <clears throat> I haven't been watching too much or paying attention to the MSNBC news uh, as you typically have seen me do before coronavirus hit but now that it's hit that's all it is yesterday was different uh, yesterday we had some actual news uh, for example uh, Dr. Fauci has been fired <laughs> oh okay so what point is there to have these Trump coronavirus rallies? He's a mass murderer. Genocidal murderer. We need to call him out for what he is. Trump is a genocidal murderer. He is exterminating Americans. And yes, his loyal followers too. He doesn't care about us. He is purposely executing us. It's that simple. And yes, anybody from any state, whether you're in government, business, or religion, or the church, Nelson, who are not stepping up and helping government, Governor Herbert, refusing to do what's necessary to save lives of Utahns. Mass murderer, genocidal murderer. Governor Herbert, the Mormon murderer. Your actions Tell us who you are. Your inaction in this case. Russell M. Nelson, leader of the president of the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Close down the charities. Genocidal murderer. Do you understand the seriousness of this? He closed the church and shut down Welfare Square with the Bishop Storehouses. At a time of crisis, he did not step up, he stepped down. He's a genocidal murderer. Businesses, the grocery stores, those that are still allowed to be opened. Mass murderers. Well, how? They're providing food. Yeah, at a cost. This is a crisis. You don't charge during a crisis. The grocery stores are war profiteering. They're making a profit during this crisis. Because people can't go buy other stuff. They can only buy from the grocery stores. And so the grocery store is making a killing right now. They should not be charging. They must not be charging. They are genocidal murderers because people have to gather at the grocery stores. Those are now the hot spots for transmitting the virus. Grocery stores are mass murderers. So do you understand the seriousness that we're facing right now during this crisis? It's purposely being escalated. We're going to have millions upon millions dead, not just in America, because our leaders in all areas are failing us. They're executing us. They're exterminating us. So now that I got that out of the way, drone diaries for uh, Slick, the Redwood campus which I used to pass by on a regular basis. 
closed. And uh, the I-15 Tech Corridor, not as familiar with that. Uh, and then old news, I, I smelled the alcohol from the passing cars uh, when I went run, when I go running in the morning. So yeah, the DABC and record sales, they're profiteering during this crisis. Alcohol is profiteering during the crisis. Why is alcohol being opened right now? You know, lines. They were showing lines. People all gathered around each other. They might as well be swapping spit. <laughs> and then of course there's a little baby on the screen. <laughs> a couple who did swap spit. But, speaking of the execution and the genocidal murder, we have uh, THC poisoning of children. I'm guessing the THC is the medical marijuana laced in candy. Uh, and I thought Governor Herbert banned it, or did he just ban the gummy bears? But uh, the medical laced the nerds and some other candy were put in the Utah Food Bank. And remember, guys, the Utah Food Bank is closing. April is it. They've got their customers they're going to give to this month, and then they're closed. That's it. Utah Food Bank is over. And this doesn't help when they get donations of of uh, medical marijuana laced candy that children then get sick and buy it. So that's good news. And then the cute little baby, uh, how to have baby COVID during coronavirus. Nobody liked that video. Nobody watched it. That was awesome. <laughs> you guys are picking the wrong videos. <laughs> Uh, and then small business loan. Again, Utah is trying to profit off of this crisis. They claim, oh, we're giving you loans so that you can get stay in business. And uh, it's a loan. They got to pay it back with interest. Again. Governor Herbert is a genocidal mass murderer. Just because seven are dead already, there will be more. They'll be on Governor Herbert's head and Russell M. Nelson's head. The two of them are working together on this. They're both Mormon. Uh, and so the city mayor of Salt Lake is calling for Governor Herbert to issue a statewide stay-at-home order even though Herbert already did it, technically, with his uh, stay Nazi safe, stay home, locked up. Um, people are still roaming the streets. So, uh, Zion Park. And I thought that was interesting. I thought the federal government is in control of the national parks. National. Not state park national parks, but Governor Herbert was in charge of closing the national park of Zion down. So Zion is closed. <laughs> That's my title. <laughs> I haven't used that title even though I've talked about it. So there we go. Uh, pay it forward. I don't think I ever bothered watching that movie. That was just lame. <laughs> uh, here's a, a little cutie with pink hair. Uh, St. George nurse, test positive for coronavirus. So, yay. <sighs> Love the hair. That's awesome. So, yes. Pink is not a natural hair color, but if pink were a natural hair color, screw the little red-headed girl. 
I'm not the little pink-headed girl. <laughs> but uh, it's just sad. Everything. Our, our emergency responders are going down in flames. We're going to be losing our postal service soon. By June, lawmakers are saying. Because the amount of COVID or coronavirus keeps spreading and people can't work because they get the virus. Uh, and some days the mail takes even longer to get here uh, because of that. Uh, but I've noticed last several days though, uh, the mailman has gotten here at 8.30 and 9 o'clock. That never happens. It hasn't happened since the one guy several years ago. <laughs> uh, um, and so they're they've all of a sudden been cut back on mail delivery. Uh, that's not good. Because if they don't have work, they're also going to get terminated by June. Uh, you know, there's nothing the union can do about it. If they don't have the work, they can't make work. But uh, if you, all the guys are sick, nobody can deliver the mail. Uh... And then, um, yeah, remember in the movie Titanic, remember the guys who played Nearer My God to Thee as the ship was sinking? Well, at the Huntsman Cancer Institute, we have a violinist who's playing the violin at, as the, the America sinks during this Titanic. I don't think she even understands that. I think she's just playing to soothe the people there. But <sighs> All right, let's give you the scripture to show you how evil the church is. And Governor Herbert has a Mormon Doctrine and Covenants, section 132, blamed on Joseph Smith, but was obviously written by Brigham Young, or dictated to an author who wrote it for him. Verse 19, and again, verily I say unto you, if a man marry a wife, by my word, which is my law, and by the new and everlasting covenant of polygamy. That's what section 132 is. It's the polygamy scripture. They took out Joseph's monogamy scripture and put in Brigham Young's polygamy scripture and blamed it on Joseph. And is sealed unto them by the Holy Spirit of promise, by him who is anointed, unto whom I have appointed this power and the keys of this priesthood, and it shall be said unto them, Ye shall come forth in the first resurrection, and if it be after the first resurrection, in the next resurrection, and shall inherit thrones, kingdoms, principalities, and powers, dominions, and all heights and depths. Then shall it be written in the book, Lamb's book of life, that he shall commit no murder, whereby to shed innocent blood. And if he abide in my covenant, and commit no murder, whereby to shed innocent blood, it shall be done unto them in all things whatsoever my servant hath put upon them in time and throughout all eternity, and shall be of full force when they are out of the world, and they shall pass by the angels and the gods which are set there to their exaltation and glory in all things, as hath been sealed upon their heads, which glory shall be a fullness and a continuation of the babies forever and ever. Seeds. And put sperm, continuation of the sperm forever and ever. But uh, sperm without egg is dead. <laughs> Faith without fruit is dead. Faith without works is dead. Works being the noun rather than the, the uh, verb. 
And so there you go. The only thing that will keep a Mormon from exaltation is murder, which is different than killing. Uh, killing can include self-defense. Self-defense is not a is not murder. You're not guilty of murdering somebody if you're defending your life. But murder is where you shed innocent blood. Defined there for us. Uh, and like I said, Governor Herbert, Russell M. Nelson, the leader of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, are guilty of murdering innocent blood. They have lost their exaltation right there in Mormon scripture for all to see. Nelson shut down the storehouses. He's refusing to give of his substance. Do I need to point that out to you again? Uh, we'll do it by searching priestcraft. I don't have it memorized as yet. Okay. 2 Nephi 26, starting in verse 29. He commandeth that there shall be no priestcrafts. For behold, priestcrafts are that men preach and set themselves up for a light unto the world, that they may get gain, which is collecting money. That's what they've been doing. They've got a trillions of dollars, trillions, and praise of the world. But they seek not the welfare of Zion. It's their job as leaders of the church. Zion is closed now. <laughs> He's not seeking the welfare of Zion. Literally. Not just metaphorically with the closing of Zion. Behold, the Lord hath forbidden this thing. How complicated is this to understand? Wherefore, the Lord God hath given a commandment that all men should have charity, which charity is love. But here it explains it as the actual charity of giving in the concept of the law of consecration. And except they should have charity, they were nothing. Wherefore, if they should have charity, they would not suffer the laborer in Zion to perish. But the laborer in Zion shall labor for Zion. That's the law of consecration. That's how you give charity. It's not the, the corrected translation from the Bible, if we were to ever have it, which is agape, which is love. There's three kinds of love in Greek. Eros, that's the baby maker. Uh, Philo which is what uh, Peter kept responding to Jesus when Jesus asked him, Peter, do you agape me? Thou knowest I philo thee. <laughs> and uh, so that's, that's the three different loves. Uh, and so charity is an incorrect translation because it means to give in Greek. But the actual word uh, is agape in the New Testament and the church refuses to translate it correctly despite article of faith number eight despite the church leaders claiming we're the only ones who can translate the Bible correctly and they refuse to do it just like they refuse to give during this time of crisis during this rainy day that they've been saving for as they claim For if you labor for money, they shall perish. The church closed. And they closed so that they can protect their money and their assets. Because they don't want to give it up. They don't want to give to people. They instead blame us for them having to give us of their substance. And so they refuse to give. Because we are unworthy. That's the tragedy in all this. So did I 
Is this the news? Yeah, this was the news one. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I had gone to a specific topic on this one. Because that's what it transferred into. Mormons. 